my name is Kim Gorgans, and my son Vander has completed a whole suite of programs at Silicon STEM. Uh, as an educator, I teach at the University of Denver, and the really novel thing about the model at Silicon STEM is the way that they've embedded the uh, see one, do one, teach one into everything that they do. So the model, as uh, many of the other parents have seen over the course of their kids uh, moving through kindergarten and early grade years, is that first kids are exposed to something, they see someone do it, then they roll up their sleeves and they do it themselves. And then the really novel part about the programming at Silicon STEM is that they make opportunities available for the students to then teach it to the littler kids. So uh, my son Vander is really excited to be doing some camp counselor work now that he's made the gauntlet of all of the course programs. Now to be teaching that to younger kids is a way to really cement that. So they're not only invested in kids picking up those skills and to delivering the highest quality education in allowing those kids to pick up the skills, but to provide this incubator where kids can then teach and pass those skills along really just is over the top in terms of cementing the knowledge that they get here. And that's what they'll take with them. Uh, I would tell every single parent that their kid needs to be in a Silicon STEM class, period, end of story. Uh, and I'll share my experience really quickly. Uh, my son may not even have known how much nascent engineering and robotics interest he had unless he'd been exposed here to that kind of coursework. So every conversation about education in traditional K-12 model is about STEM education and they don't get the same kind of experience that they get here at Silicon STEM in a traditional classroom. So they may learn science, they may learn a little bit of engineering, it may be embedded into a science curriculum, but they're not rolling their sleeves up and assembling a robot, and they're not programming a robot to pick up a tennis ball, and they're not uh, programming LED lights to form a cool pattern on demand. So to be able to do that here, really turned the light bulb on for my son who realized this is really what I wanna do. And as a parent, there's no feeling of gratitude like the feeling of uh, your thanks to a program for turning the light bulb on in your kid's head and really establishing for them the kind of lifelong interest that Silicon STEM has done for us. Hi, I'm Matt Spampanato. I'm the head of academics at Silicon STEM Academy. One of the best things I think about this kind of education is that it's all hands-on. Um, I've been teaching public school robotics, everything from English to robotics for 25 years, and my education philosophy has never changed. It should all be project-based learning. Uh, I don't like teaching things in a vacuum. I don't like trying to give my knowledge to the students. I like them to learn through practicing. So at SSA, Silicon STEM Academy, we like to tell kids, get in here, roll your sleeves up, get to work, and we're going to give you the tools that you need to be successful, but we're not going to give you the answers. You're, gonna, you're going to discover the answers on your own. And that's why we think this is a good addition to regular public school, because kids come in here, it's a little more laid back, we, uh, we all relax, we all build together, we learn together, we program together, and it's a lot of fun. Register today. Come on in, join us. Have some fun, get some work done, build a pathway for your future. Go to siliconstemacademy.com and register today. You're going to love it.